Okay, so I probably look really silly right now, but um, I'm waiting for my hairspray to set in. Um, I bought this new product. Um, I actually bought it at TJ Maxx, and it's What a Tease Back Comb in a Bottle. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to back comb first and then put the hairspray in, but I was like, you know what, let's just like spray it. So I did, and now I'm just waiting for it to dry so I can put my hair down. Um, I want to see how it works to see... Um, if my hair is going to look like it was teased without actually being teased, because it's a really firm holding hairspray, like, whoa. My hair is hard and crunchy right now. So, I'll get back to you guys with the results, um, shortly. But, um, I woke up this morning at, like, 7.30, I chilled in bed until, like, 9, got out of bed at 9, 9.30, um, had breakfast, Came up into my office at like 10, did my makeup, and now it's like 11, so, yeah. Is this ever going to dry? Like, come on, man. Come on, people. So I just finished my hair. I ended up putting it in a ponytail and curling the end of the ponytail and then just releasing it. So the spray definitely added volume. It's a little bit more like natty and gross, um, but I'll be washing my hair tonight anyway, so whatever, but... Um, yeah, this is what I look like today. Hey, so I'm in the car and I'm off to my university. I am trying, I'm sorry by the way if this is like shaky. Um, once I get there I'll adjust it to make sure that it's fine. Um, or at a red light or something. Um, cause to me it seems like it's a bit shaky. Anywho, um, I'm going to my university because I need to drop off my scholarship check. I thought my scholarship check would come straight to my school, but apparently no, it comes to me. So that gives me even more work going to my university to hand it to them personally. Um, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm hoping that like they won't charge me anything extra because it's later, I don't know. <sighs> I just, I also have a dentist appointment today for a cleaning. Um, which is delayed by like God knows how long. Um, I think they initially uh, called me in May and right now it's August. Yeah, I procrastinate. But um, after the dentist appointment, I will be going to hang out with Anna. I think we're gonna go see a movie tonight. Um, maybe get some dinner and like walk around the park or something. Um, well, that's like completely in the backwards order. First, we're gonna go walk in the park, eat dinner, and then go see a movie. Um, but the movie's like, you know, if we have time or something. But, um, yeah, I was gonna film a video today, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna have time. I decided that there's gonna be no video this week um, on my main channel on Monday because I wasn't feeling well yesterday and I just didn't want to um, film, you know, those days when you just don't wanna be in camera. Just, it is what it is. Uh, and then, um, what else was I going to say? I completely forgot. Oh, Thursday I'm going to put up a video and I'm just going to film it either tonight or Thursday. Super procrastination, but, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to film yet, but I also need to announce my P.O. Box and my meetup. Like, if I don't announce my meetup, I'm going to have some problems. What is this? Is there a wedding in the parking lot? That's kind of lame. Like, if, if you're having a wedding in the parking lot, like, why? Why'd you marry him? <sighs> Anywho's, I, I said anywho's like at least seven times in this video. I'm going to stop. So, I'll talk to you guys once I'm there. You know what's terrible? No matter how many times I come here, and no matter how many times I'm going to the specific office to handle, you know, paying for college and whatnot, Every time I miss the turn that I'm supposed to take, like every single time, and I don't understand, like I go to this university, like I, I am here all the time. I've taken the buses here all the time because obviously, you know, you need buses to get places, but like every single time I miss it. Like I'm, I'm, ups I'm upset for myself because it's kind of like an embarrassment by now. Like it's not like, you know, everyone driving around me knows that I'm making this mistake. It's just like personally, it like hurts me knowing that I'm like totally out of it or something. It's not like I'm even listening to music or, you know, the radio or something that I can't, ooh, this is weird. 
um, that I can't like figure it out. They put these weird like little stick up things on the ground rather than um, dr just drawing the, the two yellow lines. And that's weird. I wonder if you like drive onto it with your wheels if it'll pop a wheel because that's dangerous. Or maybe it's like a flappy flap thing that it like flaps down. Yeah, but that's weird. I've never seen that before. Anyways, back to driving. So I just got here and um, I parked. You know what's funny? Um, because I vlog so much, um, I pick out parking lot parking spots a bit differently than normal people. Like most people would pick the spot closest to where they have to go. Um, I pick the spot that is uh, the best for vlogging. Now I was gonna do the other side, um, but it's sunny over there and it's really hot today, so I was like, you know, I'd rather stay in the shade. So hopefully you can see me alrighty, um, alrighty, all right. But um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna hope for the best right now. I have like stuff in my mouth. Um, do, 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 do. Um, okay, anywho's. Yeah, um, I also wanted to say a shout out to whoever's car this is. Oh my goodness, do you see how packed that is? I'm gonna zoom it in so you guys can see. It's literally front seat, back seat, everything is filled in because we're, everyone's moving in, like I think this weekend or something. So they probably drove over here and they just parked their car here because it's like a free parking throughout the day. But yeah, oh, there's another person over there. It's an adrenaline rush when you're vlogging and there's like someone near you. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go inside and I'll see you guys once I'm back out. So I got everything figured out. I'm so excited. I'm going home now. I thought it was gonna take a lot longer and I just have to go straight to the dentist. But look, look, looks like that's not the case. So we are on our way home. The lady who helped me today, she was so nice. She was so sweet. She was just like little, um, I wouldn't say old, but she was like, you know those people that you would like characterize as a mom? <laughs> like, I felt like she was like a mom. I was like, oh, thanks. And she took my check and everything. She gave me a receipt. No problems. Sorry, like the camera is not angled properly. Just trying to adjust you guys. Sorry. Um, so yeah, now that I'm done, have time for me. This guy planning on walking? Like, what are you doing? Buddy, hurry up. There is no time to check your phone right now. So I'm thinking that I could possibly film a video right now. Like if I get home fast enough, I can film a video. That'll be fabulous because then I won't have to do it tonight. Um, ooh, I just like, I don't know if that was burp slash hiccup. Or a hiccup slash burp or whatever that was but excuse me Ugh, I'm so happy that is done and over with now all I have to do is wait for my loan to process itself or figure stuff out Wow I never realized how crazy people are with like everyone that I I, I see crossing the road everyone is on their phone and everyone is like, I don't know if they're texting or reading or what they're doing, but they're literally just sitting there on their phone. Ugh, I'm trying to put my sunglasses on. Ah! Okay. There are cars coming. Oh, my brakes are bad. I need to get that checked out. Okay, boom, boom. Let's ride. Bum, 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 bum. Fabulous. Okay. So I am good to go home now. I, I don't really have anything to tell you guys. Um, today's Wednesday. It's hump day. Ooh, bumps, bumps on the roads. They're never cool. Um, I'm kind of thirsty. I'm thinking about going to Starbucks, but then at the same time, I'm like thinking about not going to Starbucks. It's... I wanted to go food shopping, but I guess I'll just like film videos. Like that's really all you ever need in life, right? They're building something new here. I don't know what it is. It looks fancy though. I think it's like, I don't know what it is. I cannot. Ah, 
Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. So I'm getting Starbucks right now. I decided to stop by to see if I can actually get what I wanted last time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it properly, I promise. And I wanna film this. I wanna see if I can make it kind of creative. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope I have money. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you today? Hi. Um, can I have a Trenta um, passion tea with uh, mixed like half and half with um, uh, what's it called? Green tea. That was a Trenta iced passion tea, and you want it mixed with green tea? Yeah. Do you want it sweetened? Yes, please. You got it. anything else? No, that's it. No problem. It'll be three sixteen. See at the window. Thank you. So it's 315. Okay, now I want to like adjust the camera so you guys can see like what is happening over there. Oh, I need to get my money out. Is it weird that I put my make my money in my makeup bag? Because like I couldn't find my wallet. <laughs> Awkward. I think it's 315, she said. One, two, three. Let's see if I have points. I'm pretty sure I do. I hear them. I hear them jingling. I have 10, please have five, please have five. Oh wait, I have more down there. I found five. She said Seriously, how long do I have to wait? What are they getting? The entire freaking coffee shop? I don't think so. <laughs> See, that guy was impatient. He was like, ah, oh, no way am I waiting this line. I wonder if they can hear me. If I'm like screaming. Because I can see you. Don't be acting all innocent like you're not taking like 20 hours to get your fucking coffee. Where did that accent come from? I'm losing it. Finally. Hit the gas, hit the gas. Go, 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 go. Hello, you said it's in the 316? 316, let me give you a penny. There you go. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. Finally got my freaking beverage. <laughs> Took long enough. How long did that take? Like 20 minutes? Oh yeah, so let's freaking park on the side of the road because that's classy. 
all of you people, what are you, what are you doing? Like waiting for a freaking, what is everybody doing? Why is everybody parked on the side of the road? Why is everyone so scared to be on the road? Like, what are you all doing? Why are you all texting on the side of the road? Like, what is, what is going on? So I ended up getting, as you heard me, order a half um, passion tea and half green tea. I ended up getting it sweetened. Um, hello? Anybody here? Oh, come on, 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 come on. Um, and I'm going to try it right now. I'm actually trying it because Carly by Bell. Bible? Bible? Bubble? Carly Bubble? Bible, right? That's her name. Anywho, um, she recommended it on one of her videos because she said it was like from her color series that was like cranberry, cranberry stuff. Ah, hit the brakes! So I ended up getting it, so let's try it right now. Ready? Are you, are you prepared for this? This is what it looks like, and it says, train to passion to go iced tea, classic syrup. I don't know what that's, let's try it. It's refreshing, but like it's not as good as what I had yesterday. Yeah, this is nasty. Why does Carly Bible drink that? <laughs> Yuck. That is a uh, gross. That is green tea mixed with Pat Shindy. Oh, yuck. It's so sour. But I can't stop drinking it. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm never getting that again. I recommend getting the mojito, blackberry mojito um, with no lemonade. It's delicious. Um, but this, this is gross. I can't believe I... Does Carly really drink that all the time? Or like, did she just make that up? Poor girl. She's never had anything better at Starbucks. But I think she said she worked at Starbucks. So maybe like... Maybe she makes it a bit differently than whoever made this for me, but what can you do? So, yeah, don't don't get it. That's nasty. It's gross. I can't believe I just got a Trenta of that. How am I going to drink it? I'm going to, like... <sighs> I'm so upset. So I was thinking about this. Um, when I drive and I see a cop standing there, like, waiting, like, to snoop someone out... Um, especially when it's the end of the month because I know that like they have a quota that they're supposed to meet um, I like to double blink my headlights to tell people that oh, there's a cop up, he up ahead like be aware um, Do other people do that or in like I wonder if in daylight like it either like can you even see what I'm doing like I Don't know So like I don't know do you guys do that do your parents? Um, do something along those lines because if you do, that's awesome because I know that when I, I was driving with one of my friends, um, someone warned us and did the double blinker and I was like, what does that mean? Um, and then they told me, um, he told me that it was like, it's to signal that there's something up ahead. Um, most of the time it's cops. The most I saw it was when I was in Ukraine. They're like, even though people are pretty rude up front when they're talking to you, they do definitely care and like they're against cops just sitting there staying there like snooping people out so they're like totally willing to like tell other people that are passing by especially because over there it's like they go super fast like there is barely any rules on the freaking road like I would never be able to drive there it's too scary but um yeah so like there it's like blink blink and you know like everyone knows the secrets revealed so I don't know does that do you guys do that or um do you know anybody who does that? Let me know. So I am making some chicken. Because my mom is going to make soup later when I leave. Oh gosh. My salt is going everywhere. So it's like in there. I'm waiting for it to boil. It sounds like it is, but it's not. And I feel like it's lying to me. Thank you. 
Hey, so I wanted to let you guys know I'm not really a cook. I've never really cooked anything in my life. Like, that was big. Like, I make eggs in the morning. I do that kind of stuff. Like, I help my mom once in a while, but I'm not, like, a big cook. Like, I've never actually done something where I was like, let's make something. You know, I've, that's never really happened to me. But today I was like, I'm starving, and I want to make myself, like, an omelet or something. Um, cause we have eggs and I, then I picked up like a couple of ingredients that we just had lying around and I don't know, we're going to try to make something out of it. I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. I think, I think it'll be okay. This is kind of a nasty cup. Who watched this? So I'm going to make myself an omelet thing. I'm going to use, I'm really not sure how many eggs. So give me, give me just a second. Um. Let's see. We are going to need a bowl. sure what I'm going to add to those eggs. I'm going to Google search it right now if there's anything else that I should add if I'm going to make an omelet. So I beat up the eggs, I cut up this, and then I'm putting this on to see if it's warm enough yet. I think it needs a little bit more time to warm up. I have 45 minutes until I have to leave. So I have some chicken here, I have something else here that I'm probably going to just warm up in the microwave. Um, I want to wash this. So now I just added some basil to it. Um, I'm just, I mean not basil, uh, dill. I'm just trying to kind of warm it up, kind of cook it a little bit. I'm going to let that sit for a little. It's a little warm. Um, then I have my egg mixture right there. I'm going to put this away. Do we have any cheese? Like, like where's all the cheese in this house? There's no cheese. Okay, um, dill we can put away. Now I'm going to pour in the egg mixture. and immediately mix it. And I'm also going to turn this up a little. It's kind of jiggly now, but I want it to get really hot. I probably should have waited a little bit. Now we wait for it to warm up. We'll see how that works out. So it's been about five minutes and I forgot to put something on the bottom. 
so that it doesn't like stick to it. So that was stupid. Um, so yeah, just wanted to update you. So I was going to make it an omelet, but I decided to make it kind of like a scrambled eggs kind of thing because honestly it didn't really work out when I flipped it. Um, part of it didn't flip over and I didn't want something not to cook. So I'm just kind of mixing it around. What, you see how like it got a little dark, it got crispy. It didn't get um, black yet, so I think it's okay for me to like eat this and stuff. So I'm just gonna mix it around for a little bit more, like maybe a minute, and then take it out. So I like made something, and I'm so proud of myself. Like this is the first actual meal I actually made. I took a picture on it on my phone. I'm so happy and so excited to eat it. I'm so hungry and I don't have that much time. I have like 20, five minutes until I have to be at the dentist's office. So now um, I ate, I didn't finish everything. I put the rest in the fridge because I want my mom to try it. Um, and I'm gonna go brush my teeth. What is that noise? Oh, it's the outdoors. <laughs> my window was open in my room. Um, there's no bugs in my bathroom? No? Okay, I'm gonna brush, can you see me? Brush my teeth. So, um, I'm in the car, I brush my teeth as they clean. Um, I use the Aura brush because I totally, like, back in the day they sent it to me and I made them, like, a video. Um, and at that point, like, I didn't really realize how much of a difference it did make, but when, um, I finished using that one. I threw it out, um, and then I ended up buying myself a new one recently. And I forgot how clean your mouth can actually feel um, when you clean your tongue. Like, I literally just spent like five of the like eight or nine minutes brushing my teeth, brushing my tongue because I haven't used my Aura brush in a while, and it seriously does make a difference. Like, wow. Um, like I don't feel like my like, I didn't use mouthwash this time, but, like, I don't feel like my mouth is, um, minty, you know what I mean? Like, after that, like, Listerine taste, like, it's not that. It just feels clean. Um, there's no taste. There's nothing. It's just clean. Um, and that's what I like. Um, there's road work. Oh, no. Um, yeah, so... I, I don't know, I, that's what I did. And then after this, I'm supposed to hang out with Anna, but like I, I seriously have no idea. Um, we didn't really agree on where to meet or something, so I guess I'm gonna call her after I get out of this and see what's up. I believe my appointment's at 3.15. I'm not really 100% sure, so I hope it's 3.15. Before she told me 3.45, but then she changed it to 3.15, so. I'm just gonna show up and be like, hey, you invited me over to brush my teeth, so hey. Do you guys like ever like brush your teeth like super intensely before you go to the dentist? Like, is that just me and my family or does everybody like brush their teeth so much because you wanna impress your dentist? I feel like they, the dentist always stresses you out. Like they, I don't know. My old dentist, like this is my new dentist. My old one would be like, such a pretty girl but not so pretty teeth and then like he made me get braces because of that like he forced my family to get me braces he was like you have to get braces you have to Russian accent you know such pretty girl you need you need to get braces or else she does not look pretty and I'm like oh thanks and so he was really really forward he was funny but he was like forward um he knew the gossip about everybody, like all of our Russian friends. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, fabulous. Um, this one, she just like talks about like, what do you want to do for your future? What's up, what, what, what are you doing? Oh, you know, my nephew, he's so lazy. He didn't do this, he didn't do this. I'm like, okay, like, as long as you're not telling me what to do with my life, because 
I didn't sign up for a therapist, I signed up for a dentist. Do you feel that way? I kind of feel that way. Hey, so I'm out. I just got my teeth washed. Well, it was like a cleaning. Oh, they're building a new house here. Too big for everybody, pretty much. They build like enormous houses here. I'll show you. Do you see it? It's like huge. But like, who lives there? Like a family of 20? Oh, sorry, I totally just almost dropped the camera. Just adjusting y'all. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, um, I'm on my way home right now. Um, I got out, uh, well, I was expecting to get out at four. I just went in really late. Like, there was somebody before me that I don't, I don't really know. But um, yeah, so that happened. Also, you know what's funny? Um, my doctor, my dentist, I mean, is like very fancy with technology. So she has like this giant Mac attached to the wall where like she has cameras and everything. Like you can go in and see everything, and it's like. Just super duper fancy and something that I'm, I wasn't really used to with my old dentist. Um, but she also had like this whole layout of like who's supposed to be coming when and you know, obviously who's like coming for what. And I look at the schedule, I see mine, and then I see somebody right um, below me, like next person, who is actually a family friend who I've been friends with since I was like, I think, wait, let's see. Maybe like three, something like that. So it's been a while and I actually don't see her that often because um, she uh, goes away to Minnesota for school, so yeah. I think my friend is in the car behind me, but I'm not sure. Cause whoever the driver is, is really short. Just kidding, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, that's what's up. I'm going home right now. I'm supposed to, Anna's supposed to meet me. I don't, I don't know if she's there or not. Okay, I'm gonna be a little wild because I have to take my brother to his orthodontist appointment, but they are very quick, so I'll be over soon. Okay. Perfect, so we got a plan set and ready to go, so. Maybe I'll just like edit the video while I'm waiting for her. Or clean my room. But I was planning on cleaning my room tomorrow. I'm supposed to meet up with one of my uh, high school friends tomorrow for um, some coffee. Um, I like to do that like before we leave for um, college. I like to like, you know, see everybody or like see the people I actually care about. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing him before he leaves we've been friends for quite some time um and who else i really don't like this like indian lady she's all up on my butt she literally like like ma'am like where are you going so fast you're gonna hit me in the back because you keep looking down on your phone sweetheart you're not allowed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. You're drifting. Lady, you're drifting. Oh, I hate people. I literally, like, people scare me. Like, the only reason why I was ever scared of driving was because, because of, like, people like her who, like, drive recklessly or, like, just crazy and just, they scare me because I'm, I'm scared of, like, them hitting me. Like, she literally is, like, slow and then she speeds up and is, like, right next to my butt. Like, get off. I know booty is delicious but you gotta you gotta lay off my car's booty is delicious I have candy in the trunk <laughs> um but yeah so this this was up this was up uh, I just really don't want her on my butt so I'm just driving now ahead of everybody else so she can be on someone else's butt but, 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 I'm literally the weirdest person when I'm driving. Like, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Whenever I edit these vlogs, I have no idea what I'm talking to you guys about until I actually watch the vlog when I'm editing it. Like, when I'm talking in the car, like, I don't remember any of this. This is all automatic. I'm just, like, watching the road and, like, focusing on driving. But my mouth is just going. And so, anything I say, if I ever say something where it's, like, I'm literally driving and, like, it's just weird and it sounds kind of, like, off, 
don't take it to heart because I'm like literally not paying attention to what I'm saying. Um, when I'm parked or like not multitasking, I usually am more competent, but uh, you know. So my first day of classes is September 3rd. I am so not looking forward to it. Um, on Wednesdays, my first class is at noon, so I'm doing my best to avoid the traffic, but there's gonna be a lot of traffic. Um, I, I, think I, be, I think I have four classes on Wednesdays. Let me check. Let me check, check, check. Never mind, we're driving. I can't check right now. But I think I have four classes, so that's gonna be a bummer. Cause on the first day of school, like, who wants to go to four classes? That sucks. Um, my dentist like really just like went at my mouth right now. Like she like literally like stabbed it a couple of times, and then the nurse actually cut my mouth a little bit when she was doing the X-rays. Like I hate those X-ray things. They like put it in and start bite down. I'm like I can't. Like it's it's literally physically pushing my upper jaw up. Like I can't I can't bite down. Like sorry, but like they're like bite down, and you're like I'm sorry I can't do it. I'm trying so hard. And then you feel panicked and then like oh it's just a bad day. So I'm back home and I'm sitting in my office uploading the video from my camera to my computer. Um, what was I going to say? I'm charging my phone because we're supposed to hang out with Anna but she actually um, is going to go get her brother to the orthodontist and then she'll come after his appointment. So I'm not sure when that appointment is and when it's going to end but... I'm just going to wait at home because she's coming to me. Um, so yeah, I kind of have to pee. Um, I really want to do a like makeup room tour and a room tour, but they're not yet perfect. And I'm a perfectionist to, to the extent where I don't want to make a video when I don't know, when I'm not happy with it 100%. So right now I'm like looking at, you know, the perfume and nail polishes and I'm really happy with this. Like this is perfect. The lipsticks in front of it, not so much perfect, like I still need to fill this up with stuff. Um, this shelf up here is pretty much good from like halfway up, like from here up. Uh, those still need work. This desk I like, but I need like to, you know, remove stuff there. Um, I'm still working on the stuff over here. And then I kind of want to like do something with this wall here. I want to put pictures of me and you whenever we take pictures on this wall. And then on this wall I want to put shelves in so that I can put things that people give me on it. Um, I was thinking about storing uh, jewelry up here. I'm not really sure if that's a good idea because I don't think I have the room for it. Uh, I want to make that closet. This closet right here. That looks like this. It's relatively big. Um, and it has a lot of space and it is not being used. The only thing in here is obviously the fan because um, it's really hot in here sometimes. But that's going to be removed um, as soon as it hits fall and it gets kind of chilly. Um, then the next thing in here is this table which my sisters don't use. So I don't see a point in it. We can donate it. We can put it in the garage. We can do something with it. And then a ton of like random stuff. These are like clothing items we can put in the basement. This stuff, like most of it is not used. Um, this can be like put in the basement, like stuff like that. And what I want to do here is, I've seen this on a couple of designer shows where they take and put like a bench or a seating area in there and I think that would be really cool. Um, especially if I do people's makeup, like uh, whoever's makeup I'm doing can sit in the chair I'm sitting in currently and if someone's waiting to do to be next they can sit there you know what I mean um, I don't know I'm still thinking about it but I did draw a little sketch I wanted it to look like this where like it was like a bench or a seating area and I could use the bottom to be like two drawers or something I want to have like a cushion on there and then like pillows and then I probably want to put up lights in there somehow I'm not sure if I want to hang them up like that and then up on the two shelves, I was thinking I could keep 
I could keep things there. So, like, the top one over there obviously is not a problem. Like, it's not like I'm going to hit my head if I sit down here. But this one would definitely have to go. This one. But I think those two could stay. And I could put, you know, little bins, maybe even these there, where it's like... You know, it can hold things, but I don't, I don't want this bottom shelf here because it's going to be inconvenient. Um, but, like, I want to make a seating area here. I just need to find where I can buy something like that. So, if you guys know, I'd be really appreciative if you could tell me. Um, I'm thinking about maybe going to Ikea to see if I can find something, but, yeah, I want to get that done ASAP. And then I want to start making this wall of pictures because I do have pictures I just need to print them out and then I'm also having my meetup on August 30th so I want to you know take pictures from there and put it up there and yeah so I pretty much and then I was thinking about putting lights up in like the corners the crevices of the room I have a lot of lights like a lot of them and I'm thinking about doing that with command hooks but I need to check um, if I have enough command hooks. And I also have to buy some command hooks. And, like, that would have to be plugged into an outlet. Mm, it would be able to start from this outlet, go up this wall, go around that way, probably go around that way, and then somewhere over there it's going to run out of cord. And I'm going to have to put another one. And if I do it in the closet, I can technically kind of connect it and make it, like, whip around in the closet a couple times and then there's another outlet over there although it is kind of heavily used but I can get like a bigger like a surge thing protector I don't know I just I need ideas I still want to finish it and it's like a DIY project thing but it's definitely something where I really want to be able to do it um, and I'm actually going to be doing a DIY like decor for um, your room sometime in like maybe September, end of September, October, and I was thinking about including that there. So yeah, I'm still I'm still thinking and figuring it all out. I'm not sure what exactly I want to do, but if you guys have any ideas, definitely comment below so I can use your ideas as well because that would be awesome. So yeah. So I really wanted to address this right now. Uh, when I was at IMATS, um, this previous year, 2014, I was given whitening lightning lip glosses for free because I was a YouTuber. And I was like, oh my god, that's great. And then I started seeing all those videos with Nicole Guerrero talking about them, um, what's her name? Jacqueline Hill and all, like, Carly Bell, like, everybody, everybody, like, loves these lip glosses and I'm not gonna tell you anything like I think they're great they're they're really pigmented they're awesome um but I just put this one on and I'm like smelling it and it smells disgusting and I don't feel like I remember this smell recently like I, I feel like the last time I used it, it was fine and then right now like like I'm not tasting it but like the the feeling my mouth is getting for from that being near my like the inside of my mouth like you know like when something like tastes like it's old like it's like it's I don't know like gross like it I want to take it off my lips right now I just wanted to show you guys um it applied fine it's just it tastes and feels disgusting um and it wasn't like this when I got it I got it in April, right? May, June, July, August. So it's a little bit like almost four months. Um, that shouldn't happen to a lip gloss. I've never had a problem like that. So I wouldn't recommend it from what I just experienced. I'm going to try the other ones that she gave me because she gave me four. And I'm going to... Um, Tell you how I feel about the other ones, but that is nasty. So these were the three other ones I received. Um, that one was the nude one, the one that's super famous and everybody loves. So let me try these. So here it is. I just put on the pink one. Um, it it has the same taste and feel. And maybe it was like the first couple times I tried it, I didn't really 
recognize it, but it's so gross. Like, I can't keep that on my lips. There's no taste necessarily, but like, it smells gross, and I guess that's what's really causing my problems. Now, this uh, salmon one, it it doesn't have such a strong feeling as my nude and pink one, but this one definitely has like a feeling like that, but this one I'd be able to wear. It's not so repulsive. Like, I don't taste anything, and I couldn't smell anything, so I think this one's still fine, so I'm going to keep this one. But I'm not sure if those are expired or what, because she gave them to me, like, it's not like, you know, I had the packaging and I knew when this was, you know, made. It could have been old ones that, like, didn't sell or something that she gave to us. But that's really disappointing. Like, I barely used it yet, and I have to throw it out because that's disgusting. So, the blue and the salmon one, well, at least this one's called Bermuda, I don't really know. But both of these seem to be fine. Um, I put them on and they look okay. They, they don't smell gross or whatever. But the pink and nude one, like, this is unbearable. Like, the nude one, I can't. And I've only opened it a couple of times. Like, that is, that is nasty. I'm like, I, I really love the idea of being able to apply this on the go. But I don't want my lipstick or my lip products to smell gross and feel gross. Like, I really don't think anybody should waste their money on this if this is how it's going to be, like... Like, four months, really? Like, I think you're supposed to throw out your lip gloss every three months. Wait, let me check. Lip gloss expiration date. Um. Okay, so it says here that lip glosses um, and lipstick two to three years. And then you gotta toss them. That lasted four months, not even, so I'm very upset right now and very disappointed, um, so I don't know if I should make a beauty video on that, like on YouTube, like I don't, I don't like dissing companies, I don't like, I don't like doing that, I don't like talking badly about companies, I like to just kind of keep them out of my, you know, out of my videos if they are really causing so much of a problem but um, when when they're lying to people by like sending it to popular youtubers and then expecting them to just you know flaunt it and giving them opportunities to open up like create their own colors and whatever that's when it kind of gets to me because then of course they're gonna promote it because they have um, their own lip glosses and they have an incentive and they're probably getting paid and they're probably getting um, more lip glosses given to them but it just it irks me so bad because then if I say I went out and bought that I don't want to be the one who you know has to deal with that like I don't I don't want to have to be sitting there and being like oh I spent like this much money on it wait how much are these lip glosses I think it's like five for forty right now. Whitening, so that's like six dollars. Whitening, lightening, lip gloss. They're twenty four dollars a piece. That's ridiculous. Oh, it's forty five dollars for three. I'm disgusted. They're $22 individually. Disgusted. I'm going to put on a Rimmel London one and then a NYX one that I've had. The Rimmel one I've had for a couple months. This one I've had for like half a year. I can even tell you right now I have one for like three years now. Like the hard candy um, mouthing off sheer lip shine. I've had this for like years and it's still fabulous. I still put it on all the time and I'm in love with it. So I'm just... You see how upset I get because I hate when companies use YouTubers and the viewers and it pisses me off so much. I'm wearing the NYX Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee and I love it. It's, it's just, it smells good. It, 
feels good and I feel like it's totally worth it and I don't even know how much these go for I think the same price like six dollars um actually that's cheaper because these are like 45 for three or whatever so I think I think whitening lightning is not really who they say they are I don't know. Let me know if you've ever tried them and if you had the same problem. Maybe it's just mine. Maybe I got a bad batch. But I'm just, I'm not going to show them on my beauty channel ever in a tutorial or anything. I'm never recommending them because I don't want to be at fault when it comes to someone not liking a product. So, yeah. I would never do that. So, I'm just sitting here waiting for Anna, but um, I like have the curtains closed. And I opened them for a second. I was like, oh, the sun, it bends. It's like really, really hot outside. Really, really hot outside. And the sun's burning. It's burning. I wonder if Anna is lost. Starbucks tonight, this morning. I went to Starbucks this morning. Of course you did. Hey, so we're at Starbucks. 610. Hello. Hello. Do you want to receive? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, wait, this has to like open. <laughs> Why are you at the door? Uh, reservation request accepted. You'll be staying with Eliza. Thank you. Who's Eliza? My host. Who's your host? Wait, Eliza? what? Like, she owns the apartment that I'm going to be staying oh. in. Thank you. Accepted. Thank you. Hello. You too. You gotta turn to a girl. I wanna try yours. I'm gonna have to pee it. later. Oh, me too. <laughs> so let's figure out what to do. Oh yeah. Um, let's drink our beverages uh, while watching the sunset. <gasps> Where? Um, at this really really pretty park. Actually, my town's park. That lady is yelling with a cigarette. Oh my god, I hate ping pong. Why are you walking? Uh, she maybe she's a nurse. a nurse. Ooh, salad works. They always close too early. Like, like what if I wanted to eat? You know, like, what yeah. do I do now? Oh wait, I should probably turn around and go the other way. Yeah. Move this over here. Oh, this is still vlogging. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, neither did I. <laughs> Party girls on the go, look at that car. Oh, can we like vlog this? Oh, I can see it's terrible driving. Party girls on the go. It's a Pink limo. I need that. Yeah, everyone does. Like for just you know days when I want to go to Target, like party mm -hmm. girls at Target. Hey, so, oh, <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> Should I refilm that? No, it's okay. You can include it. Yeah. See, I'm not the only clumsy one in the world. There you go. This is why we're friends. Um, we. I feel a mosquito on my sh my hand. I hate mosquitoes. So we're in the woods. Somewhere in the woods. Yeah. And there's like a leak over there. But I think I have a spider web on me. How much ice cream I have. Um, so we got um, ice cream with this local ice cream place. Um, and look at how much I got. Like I got the medium, and that is huge. It's raspberry something like black raspberry. And you got a small mocha almond fudge. So this is how we're ending our little fun day together. So I'm gonna enjoy this, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We had lots of fun, and today we're planning all of our fun adventures for the future. Yep.
All of them. All of them. Skiing, everything. Stay guys, tuned. Stay we tuned. Won't return, we won't reveal them right now. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any good ideas of places that you visited in Europe, um, even in like America, like places to just, you know, road trip, stuff like that. If you have any places that like you've really liked or you would recommend, let, comment down below so that we can think. Do a meetup in those places. Oh yeah, if we do a road trip, I could totally do meetups. Or go to Europe. Europe.